having a fully off-grid van gives you the liberty and luxury of literally parking anywhere and living as if you were in a state, national, or RV park. Having that freedom has really changed our life. Traveling around the country in our Sprinter has been so much fun for us. Living the nomad life for the past two years, we've seen a lot in our travels and we've enjoyed a lot. We've got 620 watts of solar hooked in series parallel on top of the van. The two outer or the two back panels flip up onto their sides so that we can enjoy our five foot by eight by eight foot deck. We can sit up there, watch the sunrise or sunset, or just kind of lay up there at night and just look up at the heavens at the stars. It's really nice having a deck with solar on a van. Going inside the van, we've got a outside table that's great for hanging out in the back. We've got a four foot couch, birch cabinets throughout the van, which is great for storage. We've got a seven foot butcher block countertop. that's great for crafts, preparing meals, or just having a place to set your drink. Underneath puck lights, for extra lighting, we've got a round IKEA sink with a great pull down multi use sprayer that's powered by a 12 volt marine water pump. The upper cabinets can hold a lot of stuff. Just remember the more space you have for storage, the more stuff you're probably going to want to carry around. These cabinets run the entire length of the left and right side of the van and offer tons of storage. Underneath the couch, we have six 15 inch by 15 inch ottomans that yet hold even more stuff. We installed this 12 volt gallery light to kind of show off some of Nat's art. Underneath the cabinet, we have a Thetford porta potty. We can pull it out anytime we want to use it. We usually pull it out and keep it out at night, and then it stores in the cabinet very nicely. No smells, no mess. It's a very nice toilet. In our pantry, very, very deep cabinets. And then underneath in the midsection, we've got three drawers on slides, and then a fourth drawer that slides out for even more storage. Underneath the cabinet, yet more storage. We also have four drawers that pull out to hold our utensils. We have built-in steps that help you get up on top of the day bed, or to help you get up into the cabinets if you're a little vertically challenged. We have a three burner stove top stove that runs on propane. It's an RV stove. It also has a full size oven. You can bake pizzas, cookies, casseroles. You could even get a turkey in there if you wanted to. On the other side, we have even more storage, but it also holds our 400 amp hours of AGM Renergy batteries, a good bit of our solar hookup, and it also holds our 700 watt Renergy inverter. We have the 6500 Max Air fan. It's got the in and out exhaust option with several speed options. It has a 78 degree temperature option on it. So it will automatically come on once the inside temperature reaches 78 degrees. 
You'll be sleeping on a queen size hideaway bed. You can set the bed up in less than a minute. This is Nat pulling out the bed, getting it set up. It's a four inch memory foam mattress. On each side of the bed, we have the flares by Flare Space with the sliding windows that also have screens on them. You crack those windows open, you turn the max air fan on exhaust, and you've got a wind tunnel coming right across your body as you sleep in the bed. The bed tucks away and turns into a day bed or a couch just as quickly as you can pull it out for bedtime. One of the best things about our build is our Starry Starry Night ceiling. With over 800 points of light threaded through 1 16th holes into the ceiling, this night light is very unique. No other van or schoolie RV has anything like it. The colors, the temperature, and the twinkle effect are all controlled by an app that you can download for your phone. And whether you're laying in bed at night, looking up at the stars, or whether it's you got it turned on during the day, it's a really great feature, and it really, really garners a lot of people's attention who see it. Looking at the front of the van, we've got overhead storage that we built above the driver and passenger seat. That creates a ton of storage. Mostly we put our Reflectix, our, our linens up there. This is our Apple 53 quart refrigerator. It has a dual zone. One side can be a freezer while the other side can be a refrigerator. Or you can have them both as a refrigerator, which is what we mainly use it for. The chest makes a great middle spot for your dog or while traveling. Another interesting unique feature we made is a built-in desk. This is where I do most of my work writing. I can just pop my laptop up on the desk and I can type and work away and do whatever I need to do on the computer. But it's a great way to spend time in the van and do some work if you need to do so, or it also works as a great table as you're driving down the road and eating. This is the back of the van, AKA the garage. The garage is where we store our batteries, our Victron charge controller, one of our fuse panels. We've got an on-demand hot water heater. It's ventless, so it doesn't require the van to be open. Uh, why are you using it? And we also hold 27 gallons of fresh water. We've got a shower in the back. And then we also have a propane box that holds our 10 pound propane tank. Another built in shelf above holds more stuff. On the sides, we've got a 15 amp landline power. And we've also got an external solar hookup for solar panels that you, portable solar panels to use on the ground. That's another shot of the upper cabinets, the bed, and our garage. The blue thing you see down there in the corner was also a kayak, just to let you know you can carry a kayak as you travel around. 